Welcome to our series of videos on collections management topics. I'm Tim for the BCMA, and today we're going to talk a bit about the best way to pick up an artifact. One of the biggest mental blocks to overcome when dealing with museum objects is to recognize that these things are no longer what they look like, they're no longer usable objects, they're all museum objects. A hammer that's in a museum collection looks just like a hammer at a home tool kit. But this hammer's days of driving nails are over. Now it stands for the work that this hammer would have done while it was a usable object. But we're not going to use it like that anymore. We now use it as a museum object. The same holds true for chairs, um, for garments, for hats, anything like that. We don't wear or use these things as they were intended to be, but we use them to represent a past way of life or a way of doing things. So we need to be able to handle these things to ensure that they're going to be able to continue to serve that role as museum object for a long time to come. Gloves should be worn when handling most artifacts. These gloves should be 100% cotton, uh, not the kind with the rubber dots on them because they are, uh, uh, tend to leave the impressions of those dots on anything that you handle. They should always be clean. Dirty gloves are abrasive. Um, they can dirty up your artifacts. They can scratch them. They can cause irreparable damage. So when you see gloves are getting too dirty, uh, they should be um, taken off, discarded, or washed. After washing gloves um, on a regular wash cycle, they should be run through several more times without any soap to get as much of the soap residue out of them as possible. There are some cases when wearing gloves isn't appropriate. When handling glass or fully glazed ceramics, their smooth, slippery surfaces can easily slide out of a gloved hand. And uh, the results of dropping one of these pieces can be catastrophic because they are quite brittle as well. Um, the surfaces here are, are relatively impervious to the oils and the salts that would be on a hand, found on hands, and they can be easily washed off if there's any residues that are left behind on the surfaces. Other pieces that aren't appropriate to handle with gloves include basketry. Uh, particularly any kind that may have broken fibers uh, that might snag on a glove and uh, when a hand is pulled away um, can do further damage to that piece of basketry. When handling uh, paper uh, artifacts and photographs is another time when it may not be the best practice to use gloves. Again, the reduced sense of touch that a person has when wearing gloves means that when picking up a thin paper artifact uh, one could uh, bend, crumple, fold, or tear it. Uh, and it really is much better to uh, pick up with a pair of clean hands rather than uh, trying to manipulate these uh, types of artifacts through gloves. As a rule of thumb, an artifact should never be picked up by its handle. Handles are usually made separately and applied separately to the body of an artifact uh, from the rest of the manufacturer of it and they received the most uh, wear uh, through the use life of the artifact. Never trust a handle. Instead, an object should be picked up where it's going to be most stable, by its base, um, under a swell, but never by the handle that's been provided with. The same holds true for uh, chairs or pieces of furniture uh, where the arms may look like an easy, convenient place to grab hold of them to pick them up. The arms are usually applied separately and uh, receive a lot of wear through the life of uh, using the chair. The chair should be picked up by its uh, seat by a most structurally sound and stable part of the artifact. Small and delicate objects are best handled as little as possible and they should always be carried in their most stable position. Use a box or tray whenever possible so that the added infrastructure here provides a bit more uh, stability and a little more protection. Objects like teacups are going to be more stable on their rims than on their bases, so turn them over. For tall uh, um, objects that may be more stable lying down, turn them on their sides, but provide them with some kind of padding to ensure that they aren't going to roll around. Hopefully this will help keep some of your collections safe from harm. Thanks for joining me.